Welcome to the Bama Football Tailgate Show, and it's great to have a, a very special guest with us today. Daniel A. Moore, artist from New Life Art, and someone we talk about a lot on the show. Uh, because, first off, my studio is full of your artwork, and it is really fantastic to be here hanging out with you in your studio. Cool. Good to have you, Mick. Thanks for the uh, the invite, and uh, it's uh, always a pleasure. I guess before I talk about your new your new work, and, and we're going to get into that, guys, uh, here, a uh, commemorative tribute to the great coach Nick Saban. Um, how did you get started with this? I mean, I'm sure you've been asked this a million times, but just for our audience, you're you're like the first guy I ever saw that was like painting football. Yeah, and I, and I love football, <laughs> and I love Alabama. So I, I mean, from I, I remember my first print, and I know I'm, I don't want to make it about me, but I remember how excited I was. When I when I got to Alabama and and you did the the print with my friend Tank Connerly on there and um and Mike DeBose and Gene Stallings yeah it was so cool when I got that and got it framed it was awesome exciting times in the dorm for me to put that up but hey. uh, how did you get started well goodness well in school at Alabama I uh, studied graphic design my true love was really painting but you know that kind of had to had to work into that. When I graduated, I knew I was going to have to have a job somewhere. So I knew graphic design artist. I could uh, work at an advertising agency and maybe do illustrations and things like that. Because going into fine art or painting directly out of school is hard. Mm -hmm. There's really no child prodigies in art. Maybe you'll see one here or there that are really good, but it does take a while. So I really thought about, okay, I'm going to be getting married. I'm going to need a steady job. And, you know, starving artist is not going to pay the bill. So I was at least smart enough. God gave me a, enough sense to know, okay, you're going to have to go out and sell your talent somewhere. So majoring in graphic design under Richard Bruff down there, just had great time doing that. And I minored in painting. So my BFA, um, under that, I took printmaking, painting, uh, graphic design. So out of college, I worked for an advertising agency for a while. And from there, I worked up Alabama Power, where I was a staff artist. Um, this is three, three years out of school. So this would have been about 70, a 1979 when the goal line stand piece, Chris Brown, good friend of mine down the hall at, at Alabama Power General Office downtown Birmingham came came up to me the day after the goal line stand happened and he said, Hey, you gotta paint it. I said, Well, I never thought about that, but he said you could do a limited edition print. And I thought, well, now what's a limited edition print? I didn't even know, right? He, but he knew of Rick Rush in Tuscaloosa who had done the serigraphs the year before of um uh, playing Ohio State, and uh, he said you could do you could do a painting and do a print of it. So I said, you know, I'm so busy doing this other thing, and and at that time I had one painting that I was trying to market to runners called uh, the Isaiah forty thirty one poster for four dollars and fifty cents. But <laughs> we did sell them in all fifty states and uh, several foreign countries eventually. But uh, that that was kind of taking up my time. So I said, Chris, I said, let me pray about it. Let me think about it. So I did actually do that. And then boy, I said, you know, I'm going to do that. I'm going to paint it. So long story short, did the painting. It took off like gangbusters and got into painting full time, sold the original, uh, which was a big step in me kind of like taking that high dive, mm -hmm. you know, jump off the high dive and into business for myself in uh, new life art was formed. I, i'm guessing that that original is probably worth some money these days it isn't could it? be yeah it, it sold for, <laughs> for sold for 10k back in 79 which was a big deal yeah i'd never sold a painting for more than like 300 bucks right so, right right yeah, yeah. there's it's no a, telling it's what it's worth now yeah, I mean, so could, that, that that was steve money investment you know? right maybe yeah. uh well cool yeah i mean what a great moment too joe Pa against bear bryant you know you paint this um, and then, you know, I go into restaurants and, 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 and businesses and people's homes and, and there's your work, 
I mean, that's got to be pretty cool that it's and it's different. You know, some of them are the canvases. Some of them are the prints, you know, big versions, small versions. We drink your prints on a coffee mug. We got calendars. I mean, I think that I would say one out of every at least one out of every three places has a Daniel Moore something. Wow. Well, I mean, don't you I think didn't. that? I mean, would you? I see him around. Yeah. yeah. It's very impressive to go in and know that they either need to hide a spot on their wall or, yeah. or they like the print, you know, one or the other. What's your favorite one? Oh, goodness. What's my favorite? Who's my favorite daughter, right? Yeah, well, yeah, I know, but I have to ask it. I mean. <laughs> goodness. Well, we just talked about the goal line stand and sentimentally, you know, it kind of launched everything. So that's got to rank up there. It's not technically my best work, but um, there's been some great moments. Um, second and 26 has got to be up there. It's the montage. Um, Tua to Smitty. What a, what a great walk off, you know, PD for a national championship against Georgia. Oh, I know. One of the, one of the great yeah. moments ever. Right? Coming up. Getting nervous about that game. Yeah, you know what though, with the playoff, you don't have to worry as much. You know, if you lose, you still got. It's yeah. not like it used to be when the regular season was the playoff. You know, now I mean, you know, if you go out and lose a good, yeah. a tough game to Georgia, yeah, you lost a tough game to Georgia. I mean, but you lose two more, and then you're in trouble with yeah. Alabama. But I, 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 know I just haven't acclimated to this. New you're still idea. kind of figuring it out. Yeah. Uh, so when you put these prints together, I always wonder when you do like these, the season prints and, and, and this kind of applies to the Nick Saban print we're going to talk about here in a second, but how do you figure out what moments, you know, I, I know when the, you know, the grave digger play happened. Yeah. I did the post game show on my channel and immediately I'm like, okay, this is going to be a Daniel Moore print. Here's no what I think it's going to be. It's a no brainer. But I'm, yeah. I mean, I know your Some stuff are. so well, I, yeah. I, if I could go back and watch that and I know it's on here, I described it exactly the way that you did it. Now, I think that's also because I just know your work so well. Right. You know, I was at the, the blackout in 2008, and that was a print that I have. I actually gave it to my father-in-law uh, because I didn't have enough room for my stuff. You know, So it was, I gifted it, but every time I look at it, I mm -hmm. love the way that that one turned out, You know, and it's a very similar style. Yeah. Well, I figured I'd have to do the throw and the catch. They yeah. were both great, both part of it. So the diptych meaning a two panel painting or two panel drawing, mm -hmm. whatever you want to call it, um, is a great format for doing that. Cause you can show the throw and the catch or, um, you know, maybe something else happening here and something else happening there all in one print. Um, I love doing just a single image like this, this wall thing that we've got here, the mural of, of the blowout with mm -hmm. uh, Glenn coffee coming through there. And, you know, some plays, are indicative of so much more mm -hmm. like the goal line stand. Let's go back to that for a minute. That was, that showed the quintessential Bryant defense, you know, back up against the wall, mm -hmm. um, bowing up, you know, and making the stop and um, defense winning championships, which it did. Um, so that, that spoke a lot more than just the play itself. You know, it went beyond that. Um, there are others that, um, you know, just a big play like the kick, um, the sack. Some of them are, are great plays in of themselves where there's no need in showing something else. But when you have, when you've got a quarterback 50 yards down the field and right. a receiver, you know, equal distance away, how are you going to do that? You know, and make it right visually. Mm hmm so the diptych answers that question pretty well. Yeah, yeah. Uh, I love the kick. Mm -hmm. um, what's the one that you look at and you go, man, I would like to do something different on this if I had a chance to do it over again? Or do you ever feel like that? Do you ever look at something and go, man, I, I, I did this? Yeah. <clears throat> because I feel like that a lot of times with stuff I do. So, Well, I let the uh, all on the line, Stedman Sheely painting go, when I should have repainted the referee. Because I did not put the lines on the field until after I'd painted the figures in, which screwed up my perspective. Mm -hmm. And if you went by the painting, that referee would have been levitating about two feet off the oh, ground. Oh, really? Yeah. 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 
nobody might notice that. Yeah. But it's little things like that that I'm thinking, why didn't I just do it right in the first place? You yeah, know? right. Well, I mean, but that's kind of what makes art art, though, yeah. right? I mean, it's not a picture. It's art. I mean, it's your perspective of a certain event uh, in time. And for us, you know, people that love Alabama football, we – I think we've grown to uh, appreciate your vision of, of, of certain plays. Now this picture behind me and you guys can see it. It's the only basketball print you've done oh, that yeah. I know of. And it took me years to get it by the way. And I do have <laughs> that in my studio uh, because I was there uh, courtside. You were at the game too. I was at the game, Antoine Petway. And it's the, amazing. In the tap the shoes and send me to Kansas, uh, Kansas. Right. Yeah. You Have you thought about doing maybe like a final four print one day? I have. That would be awesome. Yeah. Just saying. All right. Well, let's when, when we reach it. Yeah. Yeah. And I'm still here, then I'll do it. Yeah. yeah. Well, well, let's talk about um, this, uh, this new print with Nick Saban, which I'm excited about. It's the legend, Alabama coach, Nick Saban, and it's your tribute to Nick Saban. And, and, and basically, and I'm going to throw it up here for everyone. Um, and you also have it there next to you, but it's, a, co a, a basically a montage of his national championships. Yeah. And, and throw yours up yeah. and I'm going to put you on the screen. Yeah. Look at that. That looks great. Tell me about it. Well, you've got, uh, of course the crystal football is dominant there. He's, um, uh, he's a winner. <laughs> what can you say of all the crystal that he brought back to Alabama? It had kept to you busy, there. didn't he? Uh, yes, indeed. <laughs> kept, kept the brushes wet. So anyway, um, I've taken, images of coach Saban that I've put in, in my paintings. I'm not, and I've lifted them out of the paintings digitally to create this digital montage. So this is from 2020. It's from, um, from undisputed <laughs> unrivaled. Yeah. It's from unrivaled. And then uh, Coach Saban from 2015, that may have been my best portrait of him, so I made it dominant. Right. Yeah. And you like that one the best. Jake Poker's year. Yes, it was. And then we've got uh, 2012, uh, 2011, 2009. This was uh, lifted from the Champions uh, painting that I did. Uh, McElroy's, Barishnikov, whatever. Oh, yeah. Toe, toe tap down the line, right? Uh, to stay in bounds for a first down, which was great. And so Saban was back there, go, go, go. So that, that's kind of that expression there. And then um, the one from second and 26, where Saban actually smiled. He went from throwing the headsets down to taking them off and, you know, throwing them up in the air jubilantly. And so that's kind of right after he did that and uh, took that expression from then. And uh, then this is from 2011 and in that game that was really uh crimson dynasty painting and he was so out of focus that I, that i just read you know recomposed Saban digitally mm -hmm. and and included him that way so it, we call this a hybrid uh print so it's a combination of painted elements and digital elements yeah very cool and yeah. and the way that you are able to do art now has changed with technology yes yes it's it's improved it it's uh it's helped it a lot in the uh, in the print world we've gone from um like hand touching negatives before they were printed like on a four color press uh, it was kind of a nightmare, you know, to have to fix something on the press, you know, if it wasn't just right, because I supervise all the printing. Mm -hmm. uh, when now we take a scan of the whole painting, digital scan of the whole painting, and then I'm able to color correct and go in there just in areas and fix areas that aren't just right. So that's helped a lot. Yeah. Well, they, they look fantastic. Now, uh, Coach Saban's going to sign some of these? He is. Yeah. We uh, we have an agreement with Coach Saban to sign 250, and that's going to be it. We couldn't get any more, so it's going to be 250, first come, first serve, and they're going fast. Are they? So you can yeah. get those now? You can order them now. Ooh, we better get better get on that. He, yeah. I'm sure he, he – I could see him being um, very particular about the signing yeah you know yeah. It's, 
kind of the way he is. He right? is. Yeah. I've, I've heard that when he's done signing, so just limit it to a certain amount. And we've been working through Miss Terry. Oh, and have so, you? Yes, yeah, we yeah. have. And so we are donating 100 prints to the Nick's Kids Foundation. Oh. And they're going to auction them off or do something with them, but they're going to have a hundred that they're going to market separately from ours. And Nick Saban's going to sign those as well, obviously. That's pretty exciting. Yeah. Well, congratulations. Well, thank you. Any, any, uh, what's in the works? Any news on anything coming or I mean, any hints? There's not. I'm just waiting on this Georgia game, man. And Are this, you? This season is great. It's, we've started out perfectly. Yeah. What do you think of Coach DeBoer? I love him so far. So good. Yeah. I had him on the show. Um, I, his, his personality and demeanor kind of much closer to mine than Nick Saban, mm -hmm. you know, but I, I'm not uh, Nick Saban, but I love Nick Saban. So focused coach yeah. DeBoer came on. We made him laugh, seem a lot more laid back. He yeah. even did the interview, which is pretty good yeah. too. Uh, but I'm, I'm, I do miss Nick Saban, you know, um, but the success that he had. Absolutely. You know, but I mean, I feel like we're in a good place with coach DeBoer, you know? Yeah. I think so. Well, well, thanks for doing this uh, again, you know, for me, longtime fan of your work and it's been fun working with uh, your daughter and Jeff and everyone well, here you. doing stuff and, and promoting you guys. Uh, we because, appreciate it because honestly, it's something that I love. So it's easy for me to talk about it, but I think everybody on here knows I, I do mention you guys uh, a lot and uh, the promo code Bama tailgate when they call up or, you know, get on the website, newlifeart.com, but yeah, continued success and, and congratulations on everything that you've accomplished and keep up the good work. Thanks, Mick. Appreciate it. All right. There he is, Daniel Moore. And uh, we will talk more about the print, guys. Check it out, New Life Art. And uh, roll tide, everybody. Roll tide.